Hello everybody. Today I have this Fernander Columbia. Uh, I'm going to show you the condition of the brakes of this truck. As you can see, the brake condition on this truck is very low. See the lining is completely low. So this is when you have to replace the brakes. But this doesn't mean that you have to wait until this happens to your brakes. You have to replace them before this limit reaches. As you can see, you are not, I am not able to see the limit of the brake because the brakes are so low. So this is really bad. For any reason you go in a trip and a DOT inspection happens, to your truck, they're gonna pull you out of service because these are really low brakes. And as you can see, all the brakes are the same, the same level, they're very low. This is not really good at all. This is the only brake then it's still okay. As you can see that line, that line then you can see over there. Uh, it's very hard to see it because it's very dark. Uh, that line is the one then marks the limit of the brake. So I have some brakes here. I'm gonna show you here. Here, as you can see, this line over here, that line is the one that marks the limit of the lining of the brakes. If this line is no longer visible, that means that your brakes are completely low and they need to be replaced. If for some reason your brake doesn't have this line, you will have a little uh, mark over here in this area. It will have a, like a little cut or something in here, then will tell the limit of the brakes. So remember to pay attention to your brakes because this is a very important area of the truck, especially for DOT inspections. Now then I'm talking about brakes, I'm gonna tell you then another point that you have to look for your brakes is for cracks. If you see any crack around the lining of the brakes, you need to replace those brakes. Because DOT officers are always looking for cracks on the brakes and if they see any crack, uh, even a small crack on your brakes, they're gonna pull the truck out of service and it's gonna cost a lot of money. When I talk about cracks, I'm, I'm talking about this kind of cracks, you can see this. This is a really bad crack. It's very visible. So if a DOT officer sees this, they're gonna pull you out of service. When you are inspecting your drums, all you have to do is to check for a groove in the contact area with the brakes, the fixing area. So you have to look for this groove over here. If this groove is big enough, where you can hide the tip of your finger you need to replace the brake drums if a DOT officer sees a drum that has a really big groove in the friction area they're gonna pull you out of service and they're gonna make you replace the drums on the spot and that is going to be really expensive always check your brakes condition at least once a month because it's very important especially for DOT inspections mostly because they are always looking for uh, problems on the brakes cracks uh, lining and other stuff make sure that there is no oil contamination on the brakes if there is any oil contamination on the brakes they're gonna pull you out of service too so make sure then whenever they do a PM or any grease uh, service to the truck, don't over grease the, S the S cam or the other components that are around the brakes, the brakes and the brake drums, because if they over grease the area, the grease is gonna fall to the brakes, and a DOT officer is gonna think then you are. Uh, with a truck that has a uh, problem with a wheel seal or a wheel seal is bad or something, they want to say something. So make sure that there is no grease contamination on the brakes. 
I'm going to make a different video how to replace the, the, the brakes on this truck. In this case, this truck has a 4709 brakes, which are completely different than the 4707 brakes, which are the very common brakes on a Freilander Cascadia or Freilander models. So this is all I want to show you at this moment about the brake conditions. Maybe later I want to do another video showing you more details about brakes and the different problems you can have with the brakes. So if you have any questions about this video, please comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.